Practice Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper. It's been a lot of chatter lately about the whole North Korean issue. Uh, I've been pretty mute on it lately, um, just because things are progressing exactly the way that I sort of suggested that they would in a video series I did several months ago on the topic, uh, you know, talking about what was going to be the situation with Trump and, uh, uh, you know, the North Korean regime, and um, there's been no developments that have gone outside of the predictions that I made there, so I haven't really bothered to comment on it at all, but there's a lot of people interested in it right now, and I figured I would just uh, chime in just quickly on some of uh, the new developments kind of here in, like, the, um, the mental sphere of, uh, you know, people living in the West. Uh, in particular, people freaking out. Um, when I made the ri original video series uh, several months ago, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, liked it and appreciated it, but when there were negative comments, it was generally someone saying something along the lines of, you know, you're way too concerned, this is, they'll never be able to be a threat to us, blah, 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 you know, you know you're just all freaking, you're, you're freaking out, you know, this is, this is ridiculous. Uh, now, the majority of the negative comments that I get on those videos are, you're not freaking out enough, you know, this is totally serious, you need to be freaking out more, so... Uh, you know, that's kind of the way it is usually in my life in general. You know, people are running from one side of the boat to the other side of the boat. I kind of stay in the middle and, uh, and don't feel the need to be, you know, you know banging my head against, uh, you know, one wall and, the, and then the other. Uh, and, and that's why I wanted to do this video today, is that people are just really starting to freak out. I even saw a headline the other day, and I, I used it in the title of the video because I, I thought it was kind of ear-catching, that North Korea is going to launch their nuclear uh, attack, well, their, their EMP strike during the solar eclipse. You know, it's like, it'd be very cinematic, wouldn't it? You know, the, the, the sun eclipses the moon and then there's a, nu you know, a nuclear explosion and, you know, all the, you know, U.S. loses its, uh, uh, you know, its grid down in the U.S., you know, very cinematic. Um, it's possible. Uh, it, they, they have the capability of doing these things, but, you know, we're not there yet. There's a lot to be lost by the North Korean regime by doing anything like that. I said in the earlier video that, uh, what's be in the best interest of the North Korean regime is a continuation of the status quo and l launching an attack does not serve that purpose. Uh, things are good for them now, uh, you know, while they have the ability to threaten, but once they use that ace card, that trump card, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, that's really all they have and then it, it'd be all downhill from, from there for them. It'd be downhill for a lot of other people too, so you don't, you don't want to see things go there, but uh, there's not a huge incentive for them to initiate uh, anything. Uh, Perversely, there there is a bit of an, an an incentive for the United States to initiate things. You know, I, I know it's cynical to say, but Trump is sliding in the polls, and nothing you know boosts up a president's uh, approval ratings like a, you know a good war, especially when you have like a really crazy adversary like the North Koreans. Well, no, I'm sorry, not the North Koreans. That I mean, North Koreans are regular people like you and I. The regime is, you know, and even them, they're not they're not nuts. They're they're calculating. They're wily. And they, uh, they like to shoot their mouth off. Does that remind you of any world leaders that we know? Any new ones? Uh, yeah, so, um, so that's where things are now. You know, I, I think people are just totally freaking out in the other direction uh, at the moment, uh, thinking that, you know, all the world's coming to the end because, you know, the things that I mentioned that I thought were going to happen in the last video have kind of come to fruition. Now the North Koreans have an ICBM that can hit the United States. You know, they have miniaturized their, their nuclear warheads. Uh, and... Uh, the situation continues to be the same. North Koreans aren't going to back down. The United States says they're not going to back down, and China doesn't seem to be able to do much about it. So we're still pretty much in the same situation, except that uh, people are in a different phase of freakouts. But cool down. You know, watch my earlier series. I also did a, vi a, vi a video series about nuclear war survival and all that. Uh, you know, nuclear war sucks, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. So, uh, you know, check into that. Uh, I'll put a link at the end and, uh, you know, get yourself prepared for a few things because there's still a lot of things that need to happen between now and then uh, uh, for us to be in that kind of a situation. But, you know, I think it's, it makes you feel better if you have a sense of what you would do. What if? What, what, what would you do if that something like that happened? And there's a lot, a lot, a lot you can do. There's a lot of doomsayers that say, you know, why even bother to survive because it would just, you know, be the end of all things anyway. But, you know, I don't know. I never lose hope. You shouldn't either. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.